hi guys what's up welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here please make it a point to subscribe and for those of you who have supported me from the beginning i do really appreciate words can't really determine and show how much i'm really appreciating your support but you guys you have really been amazing from day one now one of the questions that i often get asked is what type of camera gear do i use like what type of equipment do i use while going out to shoot what type of pc do i edit on what type of camera do i use what type of gimbal do i use like most of you guys you're always asking me that that type of question so today i'm going to be showing you what's in my camera bag so guys this is my camera bag i call it my camera bag because it's the one basically that carries my camera and all my gear uh, it's not a camera bag, it's not like a real camera bag, but it's just a laptop bag that I use to carry my equipment, like my camera, my laptop, if I'm going to stay there overnight, or if I'm, if I'm going to travel a long distance and I, and I need to edit, like for example, in the, in the car or in the bus or in the metro, like when I'm traveling, sometimes I do edit because I often try to utilize the time. Time management when you're a content creator really matters a lot. So without wasting any further time, let me show you guys what's inside my bag. Okay, the most important thing that I often carry with me is my laptop. It's a normal Toshiba Satellite L50B with uh, eight gigs of RAM and uh, one terabyte of storage. And of course, a Core i5 processor. So this guy, he is the one that has been like editing all those tremendous videos that you have been watching this little guy i love this little beast moving on to my next gear the thing that i carry with me is my smartphone so this guy here even right now he is doing a tremendous job he's the one that's recording the voiceover that you're listening to the voice i have connected him to a boya bym1 microphone so the sound that you're listening to is coming from this little guy this little samsung guy when i first started out youtube i was entirely shooting my videos on my phone i never had a gimbal i never had a stabilizer all the videos that you used to see i used to shoot them using my smartphone and remember whenever you're shooting using a smartphone you want to have uh, the highest resolution possible so if you're using a smartphone make sure you always shoot in 1080p 1920 times 1080p that's the best resolution that you can get out of your smartphone like 1080p and above is good for a smartphone but if you're using a smartphone and then you're shooting in uh, 720 480 the picture is not going to be very nice so moving on to the next thing that's always in my camera bag is my mobile stabilizer this is a stabilizer from uh B steady pro as you can see it's an indonesian firm that manufactures this stabilizer so this guy i re i got him i think probably maybe one year ago or nine months ago i don't remember this stabilizer it's been the one that i've been using to make my like my video stable when i'm shooting using my phone so moving on to the next that's always in my camera bag is of course my sony alpha sony a6000 so this camera i just recently got it uh i think a few a few weeks ago i think but it has been tremendous and what I normally attach to this camera, it's a shotgun mic also from Sony. This camera doesn't really have a headset jack, like a microphone jack on the side. So if you want to get like ambient sounds, like for example, if you're shooting a cinematic video and you want to add in some birds in the background, some cars in the background, like some boats in the background, you've got to buy a Sony shotgun mic, which I will also leave in the description down below. I will be leaving the links in the description below in case you guys want to check out some of this gear. If you want to purchase them, I will be affiliating them to my channel or with Amazon and the links will be provided down below in the description. So moving on to my next gear that I often carry with me in my camera bag. This one by far is one of the most expensive equipments that i have ever bought and it's none other than the dji mavic so this little guy has been tremendous I've, i got him around uh, three months ago i think from i bought him from amazon i have used it for the past three months and i can't really regret buying this little guy so sometimes if i don't want to create content or if i don't want to go outside with uh, with a gimbal because recently over the past few months it has been very hot you know summer in the uae it's it's been around like 40 degrees like 35 degrees or more it's been really hot so sometimes i just go outside and find like 
a very unique spot where it's not too hot and i just fly this little guy outside to capture some aerial sceneries and uh, it has been really tremendous so this is the small little guy i think you can see him it's the dji mavic mini drone the dji mavic mini comes with a uh, a three axis gimbal it comes with a 12 megapixel camera and it comes with 30 minutes of flight time so if you go out and fly and you bought the fly mock combo like the one i did like the one i bought expect to fly for around two hours which is pretty good that you can capture everything that you want if you're flying outside also this dji mavic drone comes with a remote controller and of course it comes with three extra batteries if you want to buy a drone always buy the fly more combo so moving on to my next gear that i often carry with me in my camera bag it's none other than the zion crane 2 so this is the zion crane 2 for my sony alpha in case also i'm going to go out when i'm not going to be using the smartphone when i'm going to be using the sony camera i will be mounting him onto this zion crane it comes with also each and everything like the tripod stand the charging cable and uh yeah probably that's it that comes with the zion crane another thing that i carry with me it's the boya by m1 lapel mic in case i want to create some voiceovers for my videos in case i wanna uh interview people but unfortunately i haven't been interviewing people so if i want to interview people and uh I want to get quality audio i just lapel them and make sure that the lapel doesn't come out or it depends on the type of uh, video that i'm going to be creating during that specific time when i want to lapel them so this boya bym1 lapel mic it's a great great option so another thing that i carry with me and this is by far uh the last one they are my sony batteries i have like three batteries three spare batteries one battery can take me around one hour so these are three hours of continuous shooting and I think they are good to take me out through the day so that's it guys that's what i really carry with me in my camera bag i really appreciate everyone who has watched this video up to this point and if you have reached here with me let's play a game it's called a true fun game i want to know someone who has watched my my video up to this point just go down below and comment true fun so i will know that this guy has watched up to this point anyway thank you guys for tuning in if you're new please don't forget to hit the subscription button and also guys don't forget to share my videos in case you like them and in case you have any question you can always come to my instagram dm and send me a message i can be helpful to you and in case you have any further questions please let me know